verses I have been myself you know uh, chanting them in my meditations from my childhood and millions of people do that but also these are chanted by I would say professional people who for centuries in their family they have learned it as an oral tradition and they chant for all the auspicious uh, reasons in the sense be at the childbirth or marriage or even after death or any special event. isn't really sitar music. Um, I mean, it's it's basically spiritual music, spiritual songs, ancient um, mantras and uh, passages from the Vedas, which are the most ancient text, you know, on, on the earth. And so it's like these ancient songs, which are all spiritual music, but trying to put it in a context where it doesn't... Um, change it from what it basically is but at the same time the instrumentation to make it palatable to um, to not just Westerners but to everybody we tried to make it you know very honest approach of maintaining the spiritual quality and that's the thing I hope will touch the spiritual core of people who listens to it and also the booklet that goes with it, you know, it, it it has the original Sanskrit words written in the old script and translated also in English along with the phonetic Roman letter pronunciation. So all that will, I think, be very helpful. verses that I have chosen deals with well-being of people, nature, trees, you know, it, it deals with ecology, pollution, it deals with well-being of the spirit of man, love, peace. So it is very much what we need today in this age of turmoil and such chaos. I have done a lot of uh, creative work as a composer, but as a performer, I have always, you know, been very conscious of guarding the tradition and uh, this whole demand and admiration and love from the listener and people all over the world just inspires me, you know, to perform and that's something, it's a very different type of high all musicians have, whether classical or pop, it doesn't matter, to be performing and being appreciated. That's the thing which is very important. <laughs> 